Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Silver Wolf here. And today we're going to be playing a little bit of a game called FTL or Faster Than Life. Life? Light. Um, one thing I have to say before we actually get going on this video is that the RimWorld series for now is probably stopped. Every time in that game, whenever I start recording or stop recording, it unpauses it. And, well, bad news. When I um, uh, stopped recording last, I forgot about that. And so as the time went by, as I was about to go and save, I got a little yellow box on the side of my screen. I'm like, ooh, what could this be? Looked at it, and the description was something like, a virus has run through your colony, a few of your people have been infected and have died, or something like that. Much more advanced than that, but you get the basic term. I looked at my colony and who was still alive. Yeah, nobody was. Everyone had died. Uh, that's the first time I've gotten that with that mod. Um, and I don't know if it was supposed to be like that, if it's a glitch. But anyways, we're going to be playing a little bit of Faster Than Light today. And I'm going to try to go through and we're probably going to go through one or two sectors per video unless I die. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I do have an older game, uh, but we're going to just start a new game. Confirm. These are all my ships that I have currently. I have the Kestrel Cruiser, which is what you start out with, NG, Federation, and Zoltan. Um, but we're going to start out with the AA layout, because I don't have any of the other ones, and the Kestrel. I don't bother renaming them. Uh, we're going to play on normal with the Advanced Edition content. And well, let's immediately get into this. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, score. Your score is based on how many ships you defeat, the number of beacons explored, and your total scrap collection. Alrighty. So, this is our ship right here. We have a few people. We have Banks, Fish, and Garrick, Gary K, Garrick, I don't know. Um, this appears our health, the amount of scrap or money, I guess you could say we have, how much fuel we have, how many missiles, and how many drone parts. We don't have any drone, drones, drones. We don't have any drones. We don't have any drones as of currently. They appear here. This is our shield, our engines, med bay, oxygen, weapons. Uh, this is our piloting. Our um, sensors, which you can kind of tell what those do. And then doors, which allows me to do that. Uh, but anyways, a store. Are you kidding me? We're going to jump out here and we're going to immediately get started and see what we can do. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. I'm going to demand the surrender of their goods, which means they're going to immediately want to jump. Yep, enemy FTL charging. So I'm going to set it on auto fire, nail that or their engines with my rocket, and then with my burst laser, I'm gonna nail their uh, their weapons so they can't attack me. Uh, appears I have a little bit more sophisticated weaponry. Um, they fire quicker. Ow. Um, okay, so they hit my weapons there, so that it got damaged and it actually took out one of my um, weapons so I can no longer use that. I'm actually going to stop this and charge up the burst laser instead. I'm going to have that engage their cockpit. No other weapons. If this gets repaired right here, I'll start engaging one of these things. Yep, like that. Ooh. They hit my auction so I need to get that repaired almost immediately. Ooh. Uh, now, I'm all focused on this because I do not want them to get away. I want to get whatever the heck they have. Ow, without them killing me. Once that's all repaired, I'm going to repair. Oh, cool, I got him. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, the ship was carrying military supplies, so I got one fuel, two rockets, and 22 scrap off of that. It took a beating, but um, at least I survived. I'm going to let them repair this, and I'll show you the next screen. Uh, so, this is faster than light. Uh, <laughs> it's a roguelike game. Whoa, I can... What? I have no clue what this would be. Oh, wait. No, it's to select my crew members. Dur -dur -dur. 
Um, it's a roguelike game, which means I can go for as long as I want. I can even save and quit. But the second I die, that's it. And there's no continuing. I have to start all over again. Alrighty, you go ahead and get back here. Actually, no. Wait, yes. Your banks. Um, anyways. So this is the upgrade screen. And this is where you can get, like, upgrade my doors. Which makes it so people have to actually beat through them rather than just walking through them. Enemies, at least. My friendlies can walk through it. Sensors. Uh, I can see the enemy interior next level. And then enemy weapon charge, which is level after that. You can see all the stuff over here, if you can see my cursor. Um, and then all this. This is my crew. You can have up to, I believe, eight. Yeah, this is eight, three, six, eight. Um, all my equipment and such. Uh, yeah. I'm going to save people's locations, and we're going to jump. I'm going to jump here, 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 or something like that. I want to try to hit as many distress beacons, because sometimes it gives me cool stuff. Sometimes it's something like this. Um... Hmm. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Now, from my experience, 90% of the time, whenever I pick this, I lose a crew member. Um, and having only three, that's kind of bad. Or I can leave it alone and just have nothing done. I'm going to do this to probably show you me losing a crew member, just so that way you don't bug me to do it later. You know what? I, I hate this game. Uh, <laughs> okay, no. I'm kidding. I love this game. But, uh... Normally, whenever I do this, I lose a crew member. But, actually, apparently, I didn't this time. Your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creepers from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, however, your team stays in control, and before long, you've beaten them back. They're thrilled with your success and offer you a reward. I get five fuel and drone corner night scrap. Not much. I want to probably get about, maybe, 80 scrap before I do, sort of, any... Upgrading. Uh, so, civilian is being chased by a pirate. I'm going to aid them. I wish I hadn't. Uh, this green shield right here with this bar. This is a Zoltan shield as well as a Zoltan ship. Um, my rockets can't pierce this even though rockets can normally pierce it. Uh, pierce a regular shield. And my burst laser can't pierce it either. I have to bring this bar down to nothing before I can actually pierce. So I'm going to engage the shields and their weapons. And, well, we'll see what happens. Eventually my people... Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh Please miss. Damn it. Ow. Okay, so they... Okay, I just disabled their shield and they literally disabled my shields for a few seconds. Um, this right here is an ion cannon that keeps firing at my shield and disable, temporarily disables it. Um, damn it. Uh, I've gotten rid of their shields, but they've gotten rid of my doors and actually started a fire. I can't worry about that now. Um, but I can normally I would just click this, uh, click the doors and make it so there's no oxygen in that room. Take care of it. Oops. Oh well. But they've disabled my door, so I can't open it. Pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian. Oh, cool. I got another person. The ship you save with badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join the crew. Sure, I'll take it. All right. Um, so there's a difference between all the units. Um, there are humans, which are what I started out with. These guys right here. I'm actually going to get my pilot in here to help out. And there are Mantis, Rock, Slugman, and NG. Uh, the NG, which is what I just got right here, is better at repairing things. Um, so he repairs, I think, at like twice the rate or something like that. Uh, here. Yeah. Uh, they are part... It's unclear if they are partly organic or entirely mechanical, but... Their repair speed is doubled, and the damage, com combat damage inflicted is halved. So they are not combat people, and they're repairers. A human is just your normal person. Default, average, everything. Slug makes it so even without a radar, like if my radar were to be shot, I could still see people along my ship. Rockmen are immune to fire, but they're, they have 50 more health, and their walk speed is halved. 
and Mantis are just really good at fighting. You follow the distress pick into a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to move her through the field. They respond, help, our shields are down and we won't last long. I'm going to try to shield them. Normally I'll get damaged at this. Yeah, I got one damage. Normally it's like five or six. But you succeed in preventing the them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits during the process. They offer some scrap and fuel. They were mining out of the asteroid as thanks. Oh, hello. See, this is what I normally would have done with that fire in my door, but doors were broken. Um, these bars right here mean there's no oxygen, so if I were to like... NG, run out there. He'd start taking damage. Um, just because he can't breathe. Uh, and I'm going to go here, here, and then here. Probably maybe one or two more battles. I might start doing a little bit of upgrades. Reject their offer. I'm not going to pay them anything. That was essentially just a pirate being like, give me your money, bro. I want it now. And I was like, no way. I'll fight you for it. Um, charge up those lasers, I guess. I normally try not to... Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not going to waste any more... Uh, ow. I'm not going to waste any more rockets. Just because of the fact that I only have three left and... That's not a lot. If I have something with two shield, uh, if I fight something with two shields, I'm not gonna get that far. Uh, if they, if this turns the enemy FTL delay turns to imminent, I'll use a rocket. But I should be able to take them out. Yeah. Oop, got two rockets off of that. Alrighty, I think I'm going to go. And upgrade my engine, because that will cause me to be able to ooh, evade. Uh, right above all my people and their names, uh, there's oxygen level and evade percentage. The oxygen level is just the overall oxygen on the ship. And then the evade, the higher that is, the more likely I am to evade. If I don't have anyone in my cockpit, though, unless I upgrade this, which I actually will, there will be no evade. But since I just upgraded it, I have a small percent of chance to evade. And then I put someone on there, it goes immediately up to 20. But when I have somebody man the engine compartment, it will go up even more. Uh, this episode, video, wordy, speaky-ish part um, will mostly just be that. Uh, but later on, I'll probably speak much less and less. But, uh... Just for now, we're gonna be going through trying to die by this thing right here. Ah, uh, god damn it! Please be a laser guy. Of course not. Nope. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Um, that's gonna hurt. Okay. So this is an automated ship, which means there's no oxygen in this side of the ship. If I were to, I can't take him. I can't take him. I can't take anyone. I'd put somebody in here to show you. Actually. Waha, 20%. I can show you there's no oxygen and there's nobody inside this ship at the moment. Um, it's just... I gotta break it. No, uh, There is a chance with other ships with people on it that if you kill everybody inside the ship without blowing up the ship, you'll get more resources. Um, yeah. And such, but at the moment, this can't be done. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I just wanted to get their weapons down for the most part because this drone can't fly fast enough really to be able to actually get a hit in on me. Unless you were to be like here and then here, he wouldn't be able to get a sh hit on me. And plus he's like missing a lot. And as you can see, this that little uh, shield plus icon right there, every time- oop, okay. Oop, okay. Every time that shows, that means my person's getting better in that subject, I guess you could say. I'm not going to buy anything. Oop, hey, <laughs> that beep, I thought that was that. Uh, I'm going to have Banks coming in here to help repair. He needs a little bit of repair himself. Um. <laughs> what I'll probably try to do is I'll get my shields up as quickly as possible, but those are expensive. So very expensive. Uh... Go back to your normal positioning. Alright. At the end of each uh, sector, 
you'll get like a random thing. This is selling a few drones for some money, and I don't have any drones, so I'm gonna. I'm perfectly fine accepting that, because uh, that will allow me to do not that. Uh, anyways, I just bumped up my shields almost. I need 25, 50 more, something like that, and I'll be able to bump it up. Oh, Zoltan, I forgot those guys. Zoltan have half less health, but every if you get one of them, you place them inside a room, they'll power that room so you have an extra power that you can spend somewhere else. Please be a shop. Hey! Tutorial time. Um, this is Mantis. But, uh... I, this is a shop, this is the layout of a shop, you can buy, like, this one I can buy people, I can buy new systems, I can buy some augmentations, or I can buy weapons, um, as crew such bomb helper change, mind control, dogs. that would be amazing, but sadly I don't get the money, and I don't feel like selling anything, I'm actually just gonna almost fully repair and move on, but like, some of the things I'd buy here, I would definitely buy this guy, this, if you have it, definitely get it. Um, it's not good, like, right off the bat, but, uh, if you upgrade it twice, you can do some damage. Uh, this is also a really good one. I've never really found anything good. And then, this is also really good. But anyways, we're going to continue. This purple stuff is nebula. If you're not in a nebula sector... And you move through there, the rebel fleet will be slower. Oh, well. Um. Oh, great. Uh, hmm. You get there. Oh, hello. Uh, go. Run. Oh, god, no. Uh, bad. Okay, everyone, get to the med bay. We're just gonna do this. I normally like to have my people fight. Ooh, no, bad. I normally like to have my people fight in med bays, just because they're all, they're they're all they're all, they'll constantly be healed no matter what. Um, so it's it's an unfair fight. Actually, I'll have somebody else get in here just so that way my pilot ain't taking a lot of damage. So right now I'm constantly being healed and they're just not. Um. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Um, as you can see, their health right now. Remo, which is my NG, constantly going up to 100. Blotch is just dead. He's dead. Uh, I'm going to have Remo go repair this. Once he repairs that, everyone will be going back to their station. Oh, yeah. I can't jump right now. I do not have somebody in... Like, you can see... Oh, oh, oh he repaired it. I do not have somebody in the pilot seat, so now I can jump because he's in there, but if you don't have anyone in the pilot seat, you can't jump, or if you don't have any engine in your power. I will participate in your study for the, some free scrap, thank you very much. I love how a, I have a human, his name is Fish. What, did he want to go swimming in the ocean too much? And then Banks. Banks fishes and fish banks is fish. I don't know. And then this guy is just like, get every Remo, I don't care. It's like Nemo, but with an R, you know. Ooh. Oh, I have no clue where that was. But this weapon that they have, that you just heard that beeping from, that's a mine. It teleports onto my ship and kills stuff. Uh, I'm glad I got it disabled. Oh, screw you. I'm not going to use any more rockets. Instead, I'm just going to burst them with lasers and pew-pews. Oops, hit my laptop. Here they are wanting to surrender. They'll give me four fuel, which I have 18. One drone part, which I don't need in 12 scrap. I rarely take surrenders. Because of the fact you get more scrap for destroying, excuse me, for destroying the ship itself. Octopus. See, 
They offered me 12 scrap. I got 26 after killing them. I got less fuel, sure, but I don't care. I got more scrap, which means I can do stuff like that. Now, where's the jump button? I wish I could click it. Oh my god, I can't click a thing today. Alright, so this is a mantis ship. I wish I read that, uh... Because normally they don't have doors like this unless it's, like, important. Um... So... <laughs> For all I know, this could be a very important ship that if I kill everyone on inside of it, I get the ship. Uh, I don't think it was. It could be. Elfly. Um. But, yeah. We'll just fight it, and what I did there is I took out its oxygen, and like, yo, dog, you can't breathe. And they teleported him. Oh. Okay, so that's an EMP mine. I'm perfectly fine with those. Uh, I'd rather not have enemies have them because, as you can see how powerful it is, it just disabled my shields for f way over four seconds. I'm not going to attack anything. Let's see if they freak out and die of breath anesthesis. Um, that's what it appears they're doing right now, as you can see all these doors opening on their things. It appears there might be a fire in there. In fact, ouch. They're just going to disable that. Yeah, there's a fire. So they're... They don't have enough health. Oh, no, they repaired it. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Screw it. I kind of wish they didn't repair that in time. Oh, yeah, Mantis also repair half as fast. Uh, I kind of wanted them to suffocate. But oh well. And that was actually a weird combo that you saw. NG and Mantis... Mantises and NGs don't go too well together. Uh, they tend to fight. If I go into like a NG homeworld, most of the pirates there will be Mantis because the Mantis are harassing the NGs. Emergency, all ships in range. We are under attack. The frequency matches a nearby Zoltan ship. You move in on their pursuer. They take your intervention as a cue to jump away. Cowards. Okay, uh, this right here is an ion can- uh, no. It acts the same way as an ion cannon, but, like, if it were to hit a rum, it would stun the person inside there. Uh, but if it hits, like, my sh outer shield, it's still just gonna be- Ooh, ouch. Hmm. Uh, take down the shields. And they're trying to get away. They were unsuccessful. Alright, so I got a few missiles off of that. And I can... Cool, I can now grab this right here. So now I have a second shield, as you can see in the top left. Um, we're playing... I'm playing as Kestrel currently, just so that way you guys get the base of the game. Um, if I went and jumped into, like, my Zoltan or something like that, you, it would not be the same. Uh, but next video, next run, should I rather say, uh, I'll probably do another ship or something like that. But, yeah. Scans reveal a large desperate field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FDL to recharge. I went in there and decided to get stuff. Normally that will damage me, but it didn't. I got some scrap. And missiles off of that. Uh, fine, I'll upgrade my sensors. Uh, it's good to upgrade your doors. I'll go to the bandit. It's good to upgrade your doors just so that way if you get people aboard a ship, they have to beat through the doors. Uh, I probably already said that, but you know what? You guys get to hear it again. You're lucky. You're special. Uh, if it were just science craft is Doctor the few like this. Ooh, Lanius. You hail them and ask what's going on. Greetings, we have been attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Lanius, although we have been making little headway in deciphering their language. Ask they have anything that can help our mission. Woo! We were doing research on some Lanius weaponry before. I hope you don't have to use it, but perhaps it will aid you on your mission. They gave me... Uh, they gave me an ion charger. 
look how quickly this thing like charges up now I can fire it right there but it's still charging and now it's charging again as you can see on the gun itself it's getting through I pressed a button it's getting dots on it if I were to fire right now it would fire off three ion bursts rather than the normal one which Oh, I love this so much. Ooh, I'm quiet about the problem. Merchant ship is docked with Elenius Transport. You've messaged them to see if they need any help. It turns out they have been setting the Elenius ability to reshape metal. Oh, I wish I had scrap. They respond, we haven't the foggiest idea how it works. They appear to meld parts of their bodies in the metal and reshape it. They've been willing to demonstrate their ability if you have some extra metal that we, you would like to convert it into something. I would have loved to get an augmentation out of that. Uh, but I, I don't have any. I want to fly around this abandoned sector. Uh, the charts indicate this was the location of a small skirmish over a military facility on a nearby moon. All these can't pick up no signs of debris from either the battle or the station. Yet another area sucked dry by the Lanius. This is one of the first times I personally have been in an abandoned sector. Um, oh god. Ooh. Oh, there appears to be some sort of research station near Pulsar, although it's hard to tell since a portion of it has been melted. The lady ship that has been working at it moves in to intercept you, totally oblivious to the threat of the EM pulses. So this right here, um, oh god. Okay, so they just sent out a hacking drone at me, which I'll explain first. That will lock onto any room, I hope it's not my oxygen, with my luck it will be. Uh, and it will disable it temporarily, and they can constantly do that. And, ow. And then, um, the star in the background, that will, t every so often, just set off a pulse. And, um, yeah, it's not fun. I'm going to target their weaponry. I called it. You you can't say I did not call that. They locked onto my oxygen. <sighs> oh my god. And their weapons are down, that's good. Ooh. Oh, God. Alright, so they have a laser. A laser beam. It looks like it's just a, maybe, not a pipe beam. Just a regular old laser, so it's not that deadly. But, man, can it do some damage. Ooh. Your comm system receives a video feed of the enemy ship crew waving a small makeshift white flag. It appears they have taken research about your culture's customs quite literally. I will take this, because it's giving me five missiles that is amazing that looks like an amazing ship and i i want to get out of here quick but i need to wait for my jump to be ready i want to get the ship and it's actually possible but i need to unlock a whole another ship in order to do so i'm gonna jump here and then go to the shop see maybe if i can get a little bit more scrap uh oh great intruders nope never mind uh, people, run, go. This is why you want to upgrade your doors, by the way. I wonder if I can do this safely. If this gets too badly damaged, I'll, uh, drop it, but... Okay, I can't do that safely. I can't do that safely. I cannot do that safely. Oxygen! Alright, they're trying to run because of the no oxygen inside this room. Uh, I need people. To go and repair the door system. Second, I, I, if I can control the door system, I'm golden. Next, they're going to my auction. This is not good. You guys, run here. Close all the doors. You run over here, please. Come on. Oh no, they're going to my engines. That's different. Alright, this is what I love right here. Now that I've done this, I can essentially just airlock them. They're going to beat on... Like, look at that. Okay, go ahead and leave. They're going to beat on my oxygen, which is not good whatsoever. I need them to stop that almost immediately. Yep, there they go.
this is why it's to good to upgrade your doors because that way I wouldn't have to have this guy sitting here um, doing this. It would just automatically be like this. And the more you upgrade it, the more health points to get. This guy, I think, might break through this. Yep, he breaks through this door, but he has, he, he's just not going to live. I'll even close all my doors right now. There we go. Uh, everyone to your stations. I'm going to let people repair on their own, uh, just because of the fact that they need it. I'll actually have the NG, though, come over and help this guy. Um... And then we'll jump out of the store and we'll head over to exit and we'll end the video there. Um, so yeah, this is one of the first looks that we're getting at FTL from my channel, at least from my perspective. Uh, let me let me know how you guys like it. And if you guys wish for me to continue, I most certainly will. I have a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, and there's definitely a lot more to come and a lot more to do. I might jump up there before we end the video. Uh... Like, I don't have all the ships unlocked, as you could easily tell. Um, let me see what I can get here. This is the same thing as this, just it's this kind of dealio. Uh, drone. I don't have money whatsoever, though. This is Drone City. Uh, actually, it's everything. Jesus. Except for augmentations. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this, which gives me 60 some odd. Um, now as much as I'd love to get this and or this, I can't, I'm not going to bother with these, I'm not going to bother with any of these. I am going to get Nathan and then repair a little bit. Uh, Rock Dude, he'll put out fires much quicker. I'm actually going to have him go centralize in the weapons bay. Just so that way he... Because see how slow he moves. Um, I mean, compared if I send my Angie over there right now. <laughs> the Angie almost beat him there. And the Angie went along the route. So, I want him centralized. I don't have money. So, it's not worth it. Uh, cool, I got a bunch of random stuff. I'll jump up here, maybe we can hit that store. If we can't, I'll just head back to the exit. Oh god, this stress tank is coming from the spell station. Alright, so this is a um, special event kind of thing. I could essentially just simply fire on the defense system, which could really anger the guy. But since I have an ion weapon and an NG crew member, I can choose one of these two blue options. Blue option means I'll get nothing bad at all happening. Um, I'm going to have my engine go repaired as we're speaking. But instead I'll just get more stuff. Your crew member is able to remotely fix a glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. Station gives you its thanks along with its reward. So I got a fuel, two rockets, and a bunch of scrap out of that, which... If I have the time, I'll jump here and jump back. I'll actually explain something next time we go to jump. Um, this right here, ooh, this is going to be close. That is the Rebel. Actually, now that I think about it, that is, this was a dumb idea. That's the Rebels. And the closer they are to the right, the worse it is for me. Um, this, this was a waste of my time coming here. And as you can see, ooh, this is what they have captured. So if I go, like, anywhere here, um, it's very dangerous. And then... It's like, right here, the Rebels are about to gain control oops, of this beacon. I don't want to go there. Because the Rebin, Rebins... Yeah, I'm making up words today. Rebels will fight me there, and I do not want to be fought. Uh, probably should upgrade that. But anyways, this is where we're going to end the video for today. Leave a like and or a comment down below if whatever you feel like it, this video needs. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of this, please let me know. I'll be glad to make more. But anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.